What have we got? Bunch of panels. Wow, this is getting complicated. Water? There's water here. The light can only penetrate a few feet down. It might be ten feet deep. It might be a hundred feet deep. I'd never ever dive in there. That's good for you. Statue? A repulsive figure. Some demon or other. Or perhaps a mythical creature. People in medieval times were very superstitious. For them, nature was full of spirits, demons, and miracles. There was no other way to explain what was going on around them. Okay. A painting? The murals look ancient. The colors are slowly fading. The dampness is probably not good for them. I find this motif unusual. In the Middle Ages, they either painted religious themes or scenes from everyday life. This here is just trees. Okay, um, it's the mechanism. There's some kind of mechanism fitted here. Lots of symbols. <laughs> what a surprise. Can I see them? Okay. Now let me back out of that. Let's see what these say. It didn't work. There must be another answer. Yeah, I want to look at these Perhaps first. I should read through the slides. I didn't again. read through them in the first place. I'm sure I'll get it. And then I've got to adjust the answer symbols to fit the appropriate seasons. Okay. It says here, dress of green and hat of white. All would agree a welcome sight, with bells that in the wind do swing. Heralding the start of spring. Okay. On this panel is written Make things harder, make things softer. Make a rich man, make a papa. Not too close, but love me true. Too close, and I'll devour you. Okay. Um, this one? There's a rhyme on the panel. Sails I have, but sail I don't. At least not on the sea. But round and round, and up and down, working hard for thee. Grinding up with my back teeth, producing, as I said, the main ingredient which you need to make your daily bread. A mill? Windmill, I guess. Here's written In the air it flies, on the ground it lies. It adorns the trees, makes old men wheeze. On the stove it melts, from gray skies it pelts. Alright, hold on. So, for this first panel, or the second one, it's something about a devouring. The autumn one looks like it's gonna be a windmill. Let me see what these symbols we have to work with. Hold on, read this one to me again. Here's I wasn't really written. listening. In the air it flies, on the ground it lies. It adorns the trees, makes old men wheeze. On the stove it melts, from gray skies it pelts. That sounds like snow to me. Alright, read this one. On this pan, make things harder, make things softer. Make a rich man, make a papa. Not too close, but love me true. Too close, and I'll devour you. Okay, and this one? It says here, Dress of green and hat of white. All would agree a welcome sight. With bells that in the wind do swing, Heralding the start of spring. All right, let's see what symbols we have to work with. Okay, that's a butterfly. Okay, so this looks like it's a spring panel. This is the winter one. 
Is this summer and then autumn? I think so. So this... Ooh, okay. Alright, that moves those two. This two. Okay, this one moves alone. That's good. This one moves the most. So we're gonna want to set this one first. I mean, I don't know what this one was. There's something about... I don't really... I don't really see how any of these may be the fire. I don't really see how any of these have to do with... Yeah, maybe the fire. Because I guess if you get too close, it devours you. Then the... this one... was also unclear. It was... hold on. Dress of green and hat of white? Was that what he said? Because that could be this flower. That's like a crocus, right? Okay, we'll do- we'll try that. And then, uh, this one should be the snow, so that's fine. And this one, I guess we need a windmill? Like wheat? Is that good? Did I do it? <sighs> that no. That didn't work. There must be another answer. Perhaps I should read through and then... Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Um, I just... I don't really understand this one. Well, let's try the fire again. Maybe just the flower? We can try that. And this one... It should just be snow, I think. Oh, there is a windmill. Okay, I just didn't see it. Then, hold on, this one should be the crocus. And then we'll make this one... This, and now the windmill. There we go, okay. Hooray, we got a thing. Stone compartment. Pull the lever. And hopefully don't kill your mom. Oh. It's not a lever. What is that? Ornate staff. Richly ornate staff from out of the puzzle room. I think it's supposed to symbolize the spring. Okay. Do I do something with that in here? Stone? Oh, there's more. Okay, so that'll be the summer staff. This will be the autumn one. And then that... This box is Ooh. empty. Okay, so this... Hold on. So we have... The things for... This, this, we don't have the one for the middle, or for the, the middle left slab. And we have this one. Alright, so we're missing the autumn staff, but we have the other ones. Alright, let's head back out. And have mom stand on this panel now. Uh, Mom? Yes, Adrian? Go stand on this one. Would you please stand on the stone slab right there? Is, is it safe? Yes, trust me. Oh, all right then. Freaking Angelina, I knew she was up to no good. Oh my goodness, what is this now? The heck is going on here? Description. A big panel of bars and buttons. Looks complicated. Oh, we can drop something on Angelina's head. Heavy weight. A huge block of stone. It's got to weigh at least a ton. Drop it on her. The weight must be keeping the big lattice gate down there closed. Okay. 
traps. Why are people so creative when it comes to weapons, war, and combat? If they were capable of building something like this, imagine all the good things they could have devised. Uh... A huge block of stone. The weight okay, must blah, 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 blah. Let's see. We don't want to drop this one for sure, because that's what Mom is standing under. So which one which one corresponds to which? Let's test this first. So there's nobody on that plate, so it should be okay. So that oh, should rope. drop this that one. Must be connected to the mechanism. I can't tell where it leads. It certainly looks like it's holding something up. Um I mean there's like little symbols written here but I don't know what the what they signify. A rope that must be connected it certainly look Okay. Gear wheels, another rope. What's the gear wheels? No idea what these gears do. They're probably connected with the traps and the ropes. No idea what Okay. Symbols. These symbols are painted on the wall next to each rope. I guess there's some kind of reference. Um... These symbols are painted... Yeah, but that doesn't really help me because I don't... For one, I can't really tell what they are. Another gear wheel? Unbelievable. The machines and apparatus look quite complicated, and are made of metal. I didn't think people were capable of something like this centuries ago. A genius must have designed it all. Centuries? Well, don't underestimate human ingenuity. Um, let's see. What's this description now? Can I look at it? That's a... Uh... No idea what that is. Well, can I see? That's a... Uh... He's really not helpful. Um... Do I do something with these in here? I don't understand this room. What am I doing? A rope that must be connected. Yeah, I know you can't tell where it leads. Um, I'm at a complete loss. What am I doing? Journal, what am I doing? Uh, no, Bates is already dead. That's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. Look for Sally. Opening the summoning chamber. Oh, we have to get rid of Lewis. Alright, well, let's see what he says. D -d 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 Open the gate to the summoning chamber. Angelina is driving us on, but sooner or later she'll become careless and then my chance will come. Perhaps while trying to open the big gate. It would seem that there has to be weight pressing down on each of the slabs. I guess that eight people were needed originally to get into the summoning chamber. Once they had all stood on the slabs, they could get into the summoning chamber. Okay, that's nice. Before I can overpower Angelina, I first have to get rid of Lewis, and for that I need a plan. If I load four of the slabs, then theoretically Mom, Angelina, me, and of course Lewis will have to stand on the other four. Perhaps I could use the fact to my the fact that there's no bar for Autumn to my advantage. Okay. There's strange symbols engraved into the floor slabs. Haven't I seen them in the castle already? What have they got to do with anything? And there are even more of them on the walls of the upper room, drawn directly in next to the ropes. This time, though, it's a row of symbols, perhaps some kind of code. There are traps hanging on long chains over each stone slab. I should try to get at least one of those down so its weight presses down on the slab. I found a note with a semicircle drawn on it. I guess it's kind of an operating manual. 
Okay, well, thank you. Finally, he lets me look at it. Interesting. Okay. That's, no. Eight stone slabs. I can make out a flower, a door, a knife, a sun, water, another door, a block of stone or something like that, and a snowflake. Would I dare stand on the slab with that? Riddles. There must be a backup for one, for the chosen ones. I found lots of riddles and written them down near the front of my diary. The solutions surely help to deactivate a few traps. In my in that way, all eight of the chosen ones wouldn't have to stand on the floor slabs at the same time. I found three bars. What do I do with them now? Your guess is as good as mine, buddy. I'm curious what he has to say about everything that just happened. Uh, okay. Slowly my head is exploding. I'm going crazy. Adrian, is that my name? Instead of finding my father, I've lost my mother. Instead of finding answers, there are only more and more questions being thrown up. Who am I? And who are my parents? Adrian and Angelina. Twins. The truth. I thought that the truth would set me free, would open up perspectives for me, would comfort me. Instead, everything feels numb. My head is like it's wrapped in cotton wool, and there's a veil over my eyes, like my mother. I am Adrian Gordon, son of Catherine and Samuel, twin brother of Angelina. They've abandoned me. They've lied to me. They say it's to protect me, but how am I supposed to trust them? I... everything's spinning. Was Angelina really mad? And in that madness, did she want to kill me? But who killed her if it wasn't the Order? Had she thought differently and wanted to protect me, and was then murdered for it by an accomplice? Who is Angelina's killer? That's the final unanswered question. I've got to get away from here. Is there anything in it? Is the castle harming me really? I had visions. That much is true. But I'd already had those in New England. A part of me wants to run off a long way from here and crawl under a stone and forget the whole thing. Another wants to stay and... Yes, what then? Lewis maintains that Sally hadn't brought him over any order from Bates. One of the three is lying and I want to keep myself around here a bit longer. Sally's been murdered. Drowned in the bath. The murderer must have been quite strong. Bates couldn't have done it. Bates has died in his castle. I believe that he was on my side. He was always on the side of the family. The whole of his life was taken up by serving the family and wording off trouble for them. Once he was looking for... Only he was looking for the threat in the wrong place. On the outside, not inside. Angelina and the curse. Did Lewis murder Sally, or was it Angelina herself? In fact, it doesn't matter whether the mistress sent her or the, sent her lapdog or not. Madness is hereditary. The curse of the Gordons only affects the male descendants, but it's also got one hell of a grip on Angelina. She has abandoned every fear, every moral code. She's washed her hands in blood just to get a hold of my blood. And what for? To summon up some ghost? My adoptive mother... Reginald Boris, Miss Valley, and Sally. They all had to lose their lives for a fantasy. Word riddle. The people who built the academy seem to have a certain devotedness to the four seasons. In one of the chambers, I found a few lines of verse about them engraved there. Spring. It wears a dress of green and white. It cometh out of snow and ice. Let wind the little bells swing. Soon will the first birds sing. Summer. I make things hard, I make things gold. I make both rich and poor, so I am told. I am loved, but come not too close. For too close, too close will ruin all, but to do without, and death will be fall. That's not at all what the slab said earlier, but okay. Autumn, I have wings, guess, my, guess me child, yet only in circles fly. And sing I do when the wind calls me as it goes passing by. That which you from the fields acquire, I eat too in my own way. Yet, that which passes down my throat, you will consume too one day. Okay, winter. In the air it flies, on the ground it lies. It adorns the trees, makes old men wheeze. On the stove it melts, from gray skies it pelts. Oh, and that's it. Okay. Well, I was hoping this would, you know, be a little more straightforward, but... <laughs> Silly me, why would I think that? 
So uh, this is like two and a half hours and I need to go and eat something. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Next time we'll figure out what this puzzle is with all these symbols. I, have, I don't even know where to begin. So we'll deal with that next time. So like I said, we'll figure this out and then uh, see what to do about Louis and Angelina and hopefully get out of this alive. <laughs> Until then, I hope you enjoyed the set. I hope you join me next time for more Black Mirror 2. Goodbye, everyone.